Keep it going, guys. Keep it going for me. Keep it going. It is wet up here. God damn. It's like Moses over here. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's fantastic. That's the first time I've ever seen that. Somebody put a microphone to their shoes so we can get a point. That was about to be a SpongeBob episode where he gets those boots. Favorite episode by far. By far. Tabernacle. It's great. Great to be here. Dueling pianos. Oh, 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 it's electric. Okay, all right, cool. This is awkward. <laughs> all right. Not enough money for an acoustic. Okay, that's okay. Let me see. Oh, both electric. Okay, fuck Billy Joel. Okay, we can screw that, right? We don't need that shit. Oh, uh, wow, there is. I was running a little late, guys. I sold somebody some acid and mushrooms in the canyon, so that's why I'm a little bit late. <laughs> Just a little bit late. I said, take them separately, and he was like, I'm going to take them all. I was like, okay. Your call, just pay me the money. All right, pay me the money. Yeah. But uh, I turned and uh, I used my man card today, guys. All right, usually doesn't clap for that, but that's okay. Use my man card today. A lot of you are like, what is the man card? Basically, the man card is a card that you use. It's a membership for misogyny. Yeah, that's what it is. It's every man has this card, and we can use it to be stereotypical. A lot of women think we don't have this card, but we all have this card. Sometimes we lose it, sometimes you lose it, sometimes it's in our other wallet. It is what it is. But I used my man card today. I did. I told a random woman to smile. Let me just tell you, she absolutely loved it, okay? She really did, okay? She loved it so much that she left and went to go get her friends and came back with more friends and said, hey, what? Tell me what you just told me. Tell them what you just told me. I was like, smile. She was like, how dare you? I was like, how dare you? I told her about that joke. So I'm going to recap that real quick. Hold on, one second. These are just jokes, guys. No, but I think the man part is weird because the difference between a woman and a man is a man has the ability to cause chaos and doesn't, and a woman has the ability to cause chaos and does. Does that make sense? A man has never gone to a party having a great time and never says to himself, you know what, how can I ruin this great moment right now? That's what I can do. No man ever goes up to another guy, like if me and you are buddies, we will never go up to each other and be like, why does this guy think he can wear that shirt? Why does he think he can wear that shirt? Yeah. Like I said, I use my man card, go to a random woman to smile. But it's not that bad, because if I tell that woman that I'm a mental health advocate, suddenly I'm not a bad guy. You know what I mean? Suddenly I'm like, you know what, I'm a warrior for change. You know, I have a black square on my Instagram. You know, March is my favorite month. I march my ass off. I really do. If it's not female-owned, I don't want it. If it's not a female-owned business, I do not want it. But I still feel like certain things should be changed, you know? Like, for instance, I really think there should be a car, like a car, a, a car that's a, oh, like a, what is it, car in my car, a type of car that should be owned by women. Does that make sense? Is there, what, is, what is it called, like a like Honda or like Ford or something like that? They should make a car owned by women. Like a female, you know, architect, lady, whatever. And they should call the car the one because females are the one, right? Yeah, that's good, that's pretty good. But there should be like 10 models and name number one through 10. So women can still judge other women based on the number of models that they're wearing. Like six is, uh, you know, six is okay, but she's not a threat. You don't even have to worry about her. 10, I think she's all badass, I'll look at her. One, she's basic. No, no need to worry about her, she's not a threat. All right. And the dashboard would be super simple. The dashboard would be super simple. It's just fuel gauge, miles per hour, and when to get Starbucks. That's just what it would, it would be on the, on the thing. No, not a good one? Okay, that's okay. That's all right. Pretty basic right there. Instead of the check engine line, it's just a picture of your boyfriend or your dad, which means take it to them, you know? <laughs> Solve the problem, right? Nothing like that. Um, let me see. I used to work at BJ's. Anybody know what that is? You just, no? Okay. It's basically like a Friday's or like a Cheesecake Factory, but just, you know, with more meth. Um, I used to work at BJ's, thank you, God. Um, I used to work at BJ's and there was this, uh, this deaf lady that used to work there, but she was really mean. And I find it weird that we can't be mean to deaf people, but we can be mean to regular people. She would always mess up my order. I was like, I'm not going to be messing up my order. She's like, what? I was like, never mind, never mind. We ended up hiring this new girl, and she was like, telling her straight up, like, how come you're not making my drink? She's like this. She's like, oh, you're dead. Oh, okay, all right. Wow, this is a terrible, terrible set. I'm going to go shoot myself in the car real quick. Uh, let me go with this. 
guys, did you ever? I'm so dumb. I thought neo Nazis were just skinheads that like the Matrix. <laughs> yeah, that's not dumb. That's not dumb. Keep it going, your host guys. That's been great.